out of what's happening here in our area. Some times of transition here as yeah. um, temperatures are just kind of going all over the place, aren't they? They really are. When I was looking, one, one of the first things I do is I look at uh, and kind of track the air masses that are going to be impacting us. And every single day we have a new air mass that's coming in. Today it's going to be a cold one. That's going to bring bringing yeah. us down to those frosty conditions as we're waking up tomorrow morning. But by the afternoon, we'll actually see high temperatures into the mid 60s. That's another air mass is uh, poised to uh, replace the one that's in place now. And we keep going back and forth over the course of the work week. So it's going to be kind of one of those roller coaster rides uh, when it comes to our temperatures over the next seven days. Let's talk about what's going on in the overnight hours. We do have a frost advisory that goes all the way up until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're expecting temperatures to drop all the way down to about 36 in Pittsburgh, and we already have them already flirting uh, with the 40s, uh, maybe even just below 40 uh, as we're heading into the late evening hours. 41 Pittsburgh, but it's 39 in Washington, 39 in Latrobe. Butler at 38 degrees. You can see why we had those frost advisories being issued. Want to just quick note about those frost advisories. Uh, the National Weather Service issues generally just one of those a year for Western Pennsylvania. Uh, that's the first time we fall to or below the 37 degree marker. The first time we're expected to do that. That is the end of what we call the growing season and the rest of the year we won't see any frost advisories. So this is the night that we're getting those frost advisories saying, hey, cold weather. It is here. I wanted to take you into the overnight hours. This is tomorrow morning right at six o'clock, not just showing you what we expect at the airport, but pretty much all over the place. This is just model data at this point, but you'll notice that the moon township area, basically the airport showing about 35, 36 degrees, Butler 34, Greensburg at 36, 35 Indiana. Temperatures seem to be grouped pretty tightly together as we're waking up tomorrow, but it is going to be cool to cold uh, no matter where you are as you're waking up tomorrow. So just be prepared for that as we're heading into the afternoon, though. This is at noon temperatures mid to upper 50s already, and it looks like we'll make a run at the mid to upper 60s for high temperatures tomorrow. This is at six o'clock with temperatures right at that 60 degree mark. I'm going to go a uh, uh, high temperature tomorrow of about 66 clear warmer weather winds out of the south southeast. They won't be very strong at two to five uh, miles an hour overall. Once again, we got the cold air mass in tomorrow. We have winds out of the south that will be bringing up our temperatures. Radar obviously is dry at this point. Wanted to also pinpoint and show you what's going on to our northwest. Not just some rain, but there's some snow wrapped up in the parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin as well. That trough will actually impact us as we're heading into Monday. So we'll quickly warm up on Sunday. Monday temperatures will drop again. In fact, we're only going to high of 57 as that cool blast of air is set to arrive. Warmer air in on Tuesday that warms us back up to 68. You can see the up and down nature over the next couple of days. And then we stay down for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We also have some rain chances that'll be around. It looks like at this point all day long on Wednesday, wrapping up early on Thursday with some rain showers that'll be around. That's the next chance for some rain, but, but up until then, it's going to be one of those things. You'll just have to check with myself, with Ray, with Kristen as well to see what the weather is going to be doing that day. And if yeah. you need the jacket, maybe even the sunshades over the next few days. And you know, this is where we start looking ahead too, mm -hmm. to, to Halloween and trick or treating yep. and everything. Oh, yeah. You know, we're really it's starting right to get concerned about the end of the month there weather wise <laughs> too. We'd like it to be warm for Halloween. Yep. All right. Thanks so Fingers much. Ron.